James, congrats on the 100 appearances at the weekend. Thank you very much. Joined an illustrious club. Um, the second Chisholm to do so also, so yeah. massive achievement for the family. How did you find it at the weekend? How did you feel leading the boys out? Obviously a bit disappointing in the end, but how were the feelings? Yeah, really special to lead the guys out at such a historic place. Real shame that mum and dad couldn't be there and, and Ali to, to watch it, but obviously caught it on TV and, and to, like you said, to join the club and have your name on the board for the whole of eternity is uh, quite a nice touch. Hopefully they'll write my name right. Yeah. Uh, not like they did with yours. But um, disappointing in the way that it happened, but that's just the way sport goes, unfortunately. Um, but to focus on sort of the 100, a special day for all of us, yeah. Obviously there's been loads of moments in the career and I've been lucky to share a lot of those with you. What kind of moments st stick out for you up to this point? I think the, the guys kind of sit around and talk and the first time I played was my first year. I was really young, there's loads of injuries. I was in the LV Cup at Exeter and I can remember it was like four, like four or five minutes and it was kind of like baptism of fire of just going straight in and, and being absolutely terrified. And I just remember it so vividly and then just going from there. I think the one that sticks out is real nice, the picture that came with my sort of 100 shirt um, was the one against Stad, that amazing game. I think it was on like a Thursday night. It was such a weird, a weird one, and to sc I scored two tries and we played so well. And that's always the one that sticks out in my memory as, as the best win I think I've had as a Harlequin. So like, pro pro probably that one. Yeah, there's been loads of good moments here. I remember one, your first A League game where we played together, London Welsh. The game got cooled off at London Welsh. Oh, you yeah. had to go back to the stoop, and you ended up starting that. That yeah. game, do you remember that at 17 or 16? Yeah, I was terif well. terrified of that as well. Um, but yeah, I remember that. I actually was really lucky. I got to play loads of A-League and we actually won, didn't we? Um, we de we de yeah, we won that year and I played in like four or five games. I got to play in the final as well. When I was like 17, I was, it was, um, yeah, I was actually terrified. Yeah. But um, great to like get in the mix. And like you said, there's been so many great memories and it's actually been such a long time, um, which is awesome. Well, yeah, and hopefully many more to, Let's hope, hope to so. go and touch wood. Um, and then we've obviously got Rassing this week. A disappointing feeling after the weekend, um, a performance that probably slipped away. Give us a few things about Rassing going into the game, the mindset and things like that. I think the, th the thing is with, with any of these French, well, any of the foreign teams, to be honest, because the Irish, there's not many teams, they're chopped full of international players and the French teams are no, no different. They've got such amazing players. It's such a great opportunity for all of us to test ourselves against the best and try and pull out an amazing performance. Um, the way that they play, free-flowing, um, you know, lots, lots of tempo in their game, like I said, with such amazing players, but uh, especially in, in the back line and on the wings, it's going to be an amazing challenge for us and the Munster game, we were kind of our worst enemy. So if we can get things right in terms of our performance, we should hopefully be able to, to, to do some really, really good stuff and, and, and get a win at home, which is what we're all about, especially in this tournament where there's small uh, margin for error in terms of winning and losing. Um, so it's kind, of, it's kind of now or never this weekend.